okay and now in the VS code so like I have just said I would widely recommend to install this I mean the this I mean code editor so it is widely used and it is really useful and as you can see I have um, the get I mean integrated in uh, the VS code so uh, for my case when I began um, And now in the VS Code, so I would widely recommend you guys to install, I mean, this code editor. So it is a very intelligent code editor and um, it has a lot of good features. Um, for example, it has, I mean, you see the get integrated. So for example, when I start, I mean, using uh, the VS Code, so I had to manually configure this. So, and today, if you, I mean, uh, you want to click on the terminal and your terminal, so it will uh, automatically recognize, I mean, uh, the gate, okay? I mean, uh, I'm using Windows, right? And um, other thing you will need, so on the left side, you see we have some extensions installed. For example, uh, what we're going to need the most, so we're going to need, uh, I mean, uh, the ES7, React, Redux, GraphQL, native snippets okay so we're gonna need this so so you can ignore the others for example vs code for warby okay so and um that's it guys so this is um all what we're gonna need to start with our project so in the next video we're gonna i mean uh begin with our backend api and uh, we're gonna create an account in the cloud uh, with mongodb because as you may know we're gonna use mongodb to create i mean to save i mean our data and uh that's it guys so if you like this video please leave a thumbs up if you have uh, i mean any question please uh drop it in the comment section and uh, don't forget to invite your friend to this channel so that we can go together. So, uh, from now, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.